What is Ockham's Law? Ockham's Law describes how unemployment changes according to how much a country's gross domestic product grows or contracts. The relationship is based on empirical research by Arthur Melvin Ockham, an American economist who was chairman of the Council of Economic Advisers in 1968 and 1969. Professor Ockham also created the Misery Index, the sum of a country's unemployment and inflation rates over a specific period. When GDP grows, unemployment falls, and when GDP contracts, unemployment rises. However, there is a lag between the GDP and unemployment figures. Ockham's law states that a one-point rise in the cyclical unemployment rate is linked to a two percentage point decline in real GDP. This relationship can vary slightly from country to country. As you can see in the image to the left, unemployment did not react exactly as Ockham's law would have predicted in 2008. Employers overreacted. They laid off more employees than they needed to. Employers overreacted partly because the government's figures were wrong. Also in 2008, worker productivity increased significantly, which further pushed people out of the labor force. Although there are some slight variations, in most cases, Oaken's law has been fairly accurate in estimating the probable impact on unemployment of changes in GDP. Some economists have suggested that GDP needs to decline by 3% for there to be a 1% increase in unemployment. Our economy is very different today compared to what it was during Professor Oaken's time half a century ago. Thank you for watching this brief video on Oaken's Law.